In this morning's Health Watch, how brain freeze might solve the mystery of migraines. You know, brain freeze, that sudden pain you get when you eat something really cold, like ice cream. Well, researchers announced this week that brain freeze triggers a sudden change in blood flow, and researchers believe that might help doctors understand migraines better. So we invited Dr. Alexander Mouskop, director and founder of the New York Headache Center. He is the author of What Your Doctor May Not Tell You About Migraines, here to tell us more this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So what's the difference between a migraine and just a common headache? Well, migraine is a severe headache. Uh, research shows that attention headaches, which are milder headaches, and migraines, probably the same condition. It's two ends of a spectrum. So if you have a severe headache, disabling headache, or a headache that makes you feel nauseous or sensitive to light, that's usually a migraine. So what are we learning here about, about brain freeze and how that helps you understand how these migraines happen? Well, this was a very interesting research study giving people to drink a very cold drink, uh -huh. and many of them developed the brain freeze, severe pain in the brain. At the same time, researchers monitored blood flow in the brain, and they discovered that when you have this painful phase of uh, brain freeze, blood vessels dilate, stretch out. And as soon as the pain goes away, blood vessels go back to normal size. So a similar thing happens in migraines. You have stretching of the blood vessels and then constriction of blood vessels. So that gives us some clues as to what's going on in the brain. We always knew that migraines are so-called vascular headaches because when you have a migraine, you have throbbing sensation. Yes. But then we discovered that brain is where the problem starts. But how does that help you treat it then? Well, there is a lot of research going on now addressing those issues of changes in the brain and changes in the blood vessels. So we have drugs that actually constrict blood vessels mm. and stop the pain. Does it matter where the pain exists? For example, I had a migraine yesterday and it was through here, like the frontal portion of my face. Sometimes it's the side, sometimes it's the top. Does that make a difference in the severity and also how you go about treating it? Unfortunately, it does not. So it doesn't matter whether it's in the front of the eye. And many people think they have sinus headaches just because the pain is in the front, but it can be anywhere. Migraine can be in the front, in the back, all over the head. Um, as, as people, so the, the sensation that people get when they have brain freeze then, you're saying it, 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 it can at times feel like a migraine? That's right. And people who have migraines are much more prone to getting this brain freeze. So if you don't have headaches, ice cream will not do it. But if you're having migraines, and you have something very cold, you may get this different kind of headache called brain freeze, or some people call it ice pick headaches, which is a different mm -hmm. kind of uh, headache. Yeah. So if you have one type of headache, you're prone to having other types as well. What's your number one bit of advice for treating a migraine? Well, there's no one, but a whole program. The good news for your listeners and viewers is that we can really cure most people's headaches, not cure, but control headaches in over 90% of people. And we start without drugs. Drugs usually cause side effects, people are afraid of drugs. We use them every day, but we start with lifestyle changes. Lack of sleep, big okay. trigger. Yeah. Too much caffeine, withdrawal from caffeine. Regular exercise, not just because it's good for you. Actually, regular exercise prevents migraines, proven in scientific studies. Uh, supplements like magnesium, we've done research showing that half of the people with migraines are deficient in magnesium. Mm. And I developed Migrolex. Migrolex is a product that has magnesium and aspirin. And there are many, many other treatments. The latest one, Botox injections. Oh, my goodness. Doctor, Doctor thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs>